It's really like being at the beginning of a new era. You don't really know it yet. When you look at the promises, it's going to be very exciting for sure. Quantum computers have the potential to bring about one of the biggest computing revolutions since the invention of computers. Quantum computers are expected to solve these problems that are just too difficult for classical computers. It will change a lot of things. It's difficult to imagine it right now. Designing new materials, new drugs, new chemicals. They will bring new ways of doing things and new ways maybe of thinking. This will be a I believe a real revolution. Quantum computers are a whole new kind of machines. They try to exploit nature's most inner gear to deliver a whole new tool to the community, to physicists, engineers, scientists, and many people out there with great challenges. But we're not there yet. Uh, there is still quite some development to do. At Quantum Machines, our mission is to provide revolutionary technology that makes it seamless to realize the potential of any quantum processor. It's a tremendous challenge to build a logical qubit. To get there, we have to um, design a system that managed to escape the coherence, to um, expel entropy in some sense. It's a machine that has to correct continuously all the errors, all the noise that the classical world we live in introduces on our devices. Many of these challenges result from the fact that quantum processors lose their data very quickly. Therefore, we cannot run long algorithms yet on quantum processors. The main challenge to build a large-scale quantum computer uh, are the errors. There is a very high error rate in quantum computers. You try to run a program, an algorithm, and you just get the wrong answer. In order to overcome that, uh, companies like Alice and Bob try to build quantum hardware that is protected from these errors. We have to put the best of many fields of science together. Um, it ranges from nanofabrication, cryogenics, to control electronics. Quantum Machines is helping in that respect because we build the control systems that allow to implement what we call quantum error correction. This is a way to deal with errors, to fix errors as they arrive. They provide a system that enables us to focus on the physics while having access to a very scalable, very easy to use and very powerful hardware. And this is exactly where Quantum Machines shines. Because when an ambitious team would like to run such advanced quantum algorithms, like air correction, we allow them to do that. To deliver a useful quantum computer, there is different technologies and science we need to partner with. Quantum machine brings flexibility, they are fast, easy to use, so it's perfect for us. At Quantum Machines, we've integrated classical processing into the heart of the quantum control system. We can orchestrate quantum operations together with classical processing operations from the same device. We call this element the pulse processor. It's the classical processor that communicates with the quantum processor. So in the same program, I can run quantum and classical processing together. It opens way to perform quantum error correction quantum error mitigation, fast calibrations to increase the performance of quantum hardware and also uh, allow us new algorithms that otherwise we could have not performed. Run the most advanced quantum algorithms right out of the box. I have to admit the quantum machine device plays somewhat of a key role in our roadmap. It enables us to get the best of the FPGA, the current best control electronics out there, without having to learn how to program them. They provide for us a very scalable, very easy to use and very powerful hardware so that we can actually focus on the quantum science. Alice and Bob are really shooting for the sky. They're trying to build quantum hardware that is way more efficient. It is about building an air-corrected qubit and then scale it up. Alice and Bob's ambitious vision is to fast track their way to that end game. And that's where I think this partnership is really aligned in, in terms of our long-term vision. There is a great interaction with the people and we work together to the needs of Alice and Bob in the roadmap, in their way towards building these world-class quantum computers and we can bring it back to our development team to, to allow them to do so. We want to solve the end user problems. When you talk with investors or different startups, each client we are meeting today is focusing on the fault tolerance. They have use cases that today's technologies can't break. Today's quantum computers 
decor here. They are limited because of noise, because of errors, especially that one since it's open. Our vision is to build a machine that is uncompromised by noise. At Alice and Bob, that was our focus from the beginning, and we will build a full tolerant quantum computer. What Alice and Bob is doing is making special quantum hardware that requires way less hardware resources in order to build a logical qubit. And I think that is very exciting because that's going to lower the overhead that we need in order to build a fault tolerant quantum computer with robust results. Still have a lot of work to do to get there. But it's a very exciting challenge for sure. Quantum Machine is one of the leaders of this market. So it's nice to work with them, to have cutting edge technologies. They bring the latest updates. They know how the industry will evolve. The partnership is great. This interaction allows us to work together in the quantum computers of the future. Uh, that's our main goal, to have our control systems that would be embedded in the next generation quantum computers.